Welcome to my channel, All for Health with Jane. Family, the EFF leader, Mr. Julius Malema, is still in court testifying, giving to the court what happened on the day they were at uh, the EFF rally. And you know the way he speaks to the prosecutor, uh, family, let's talk about this in the comment section. Please tell me if you think Julius Malema still needs a defense, still needs any lawyer to come and represent him. Because according to me, when I look at him, you know, he's well able to represent himself. He's well able to be honest. So... Uh, let's watch at this clip where he's refusing to show to the prosecutor one of the EFF members whom it is alleged he is the one who gave Mr. Julius Malema the gun that he shot in the air on uh, the day of the rally. The guy that Mr. Julius Malema claims it's a toy gun, it wasn't a real gun. So the prosecutor is asking him to show him Larry Mabunda, who is a, a, that EFF member who had the gun with him. Julius Malema says, I'm never going to do that. Because the same as you, when I can ask you now to show me the police who wrote the statements, you're not going to, to do it. So I'm not going to do it as well. Family, let's watch and comment at the end of this video. Who was in possession of this particular toy firearm before it was fired? No, Larry handed it over to me. Larry Mabunda, on the picture with the accused number two, on the video, is seen there. After I shot that uh, toy gun, I handed it over back to where it came from, from capable hands of Larry Mabunda. Why was it left with the security guard? Larry Mavunsa, when this is just a normal toy that anybody can carry. He also had my bag. Why did he carry it? What's my bodyguard? He's a, dead. You refer to toy firearms. Toy firearms are almost like the play firearms. It doesn't do any damage. It doesn't cause any harm to anybody. Why was it left with Larry Mavunsa? Your Worship, that toy firearm was brought into this court yesterday by Larry Mabund. That's his job. My bag, I don't have a bag, I'm walking into this court. Where is my bag? Is with him. I only access that toy firearm when the part comes. And then I hand it over back to them. Why have you ever seen a president going around carrying things? Is we Mr. get served. Mr. Malema, is Mr. Mabund here today? Yes. Where is he? It's in the audience. Can you show us which one is Mr. Is this Mabunda? allowed? Is this allowed? Is he present today? Yes, yeah. And why can't you just show who he is? But is it allowed? We that I should be pointing people in the crowds that are not before this court. Mr. What have we turned this court into? Into a mockery. Mr. Malema, we're going to view the video footage. That is what is before the court. Play it. If you say... Larry Mabunda is not before the court. Why must I be made to point him in the crowd? It's not before the court. We should respect the court because I'm going to ask you if those officers who are reading their statements are they here, can you point them? I take what you are saying as being before the court and I deal with that evidence before the court. The evidence before the court is the video where Larry Mabunda is. I will gladly ask her to stop and show the court who is Larry Mabunda. But to be made to point people in the crowds, I've not, I don't think that is acceptable. You 
you identified Mr. Mavunkla on the video footage yesterday, is that yes. correct? Yes. The only thing that I'm asking is to confirm that this person that you identified in that video footage is present and where he is. I said he's present, he's not the subject of the page. When you were playing the uh, the video here during the whole trial, you used to say, "Do you see any person on that video who's here?" They will say, "Yes, accused number two. Yes, accused number one." They've never said we saw the person at the back of the court. It's never like that. Larry Mabunda, you had a duty, and you dismally failed the state and wasted the resources of South Africa. You had a duty to charge Larry Mabunda. You didn't charge him. You want me to charge him in the audience. I won't do that. Your worship, the firearm in question was issued to Larry Mabunda. Larry Mabunda is seen on the stage with me where it is alleged that that firearm shot at the shots at the stadium. Where is the first place to go to? Is to go to a person who in his name the firearm has been issued. And what makes matters worse is that the person in question is there in the video, which makes him even more suspect. They don't do that. They leave him out, and then they come here to say to me, I must point him in the crowd. It's not my job to point people at the crowd. It's my job to point at the evidence be presented before you to confirm or deny it. You also testified yesterday that Colonel Swartboy never came to ask you for your own uh, firearm because that firearm, the 9mm, we see there could have been your own firearm. Yes. But again, Your Worship, and the court has got a duty to protect me. I, I'm being asked about the, the uh, firearms that are not before this court. You brought a firearm to this court. Let's deal with it. And not what is not before this court. Can you confirm, Mr. Malema, that the firearm that was used, is that a toy firearm, the 9mm handgun? I don't know what is 9mm, what is what. I showed you the toy gun I used Yeah, That's my toy gun. I'm going to request uh, Mascara to play the videos for you. If you can play all three and then we'll go back again. Um, just a minute, I think it's Caesar. The gallery? I can't hear what is being said in front if you are mumbling amongst yourself. There's a lot of you, it makes it difficult to hear. Sound travels in my direction. Please.
Your Worship, can I ask her to play that uh, the last one so I can show you the uh, two VIP protecting PSS people I'm talking about? We want to get there, Mr. Malema. Oh. Can you play the video that you just requested? Can you please wait for the question? We're going to question, we're going to ask questions. Video, the, what that we are going to watch. No, the one that you just wanted to see? Okay. okay. Yes. I think you please wait until we question you about that. from where I'm sitting. I can't. And uh, there was no such a 9 millimeter what word before this court for me to answer to it. If they brought to you before you your worship a 9 millimeter what word and how it looks like, maybe I'll have an idea what they are talking about. I don't know. I can't see what is that. I can't stand here and say that is 9 millimeter barrel what what. I don't know. Can we agree that it's a smaller firearm than the other two videos. No, I can't see if it's smaller or big. Um, this camera was shot too far. I can't see that. Even when you do it with those people of photography, zoom in and what, what, I, I don't see it. Do you want to go closer, sir? I've been closer six years ago. I can still go now. I can't see it. I can't see it. Chio, 
Your worship, it was going to be helpful if you brought something here so that I can answer what I see and what I see there. I, I can't. I'm being made to answer for something I don't know what this is for. Is that the same size firearm than the one that you brought here yesterday? How do I say it's the same size if I can't see it? I just told you I can't see it. How do I say it's the same or not? I put it to you that it's a 9mm, that's a handgun. That's your vision to the court, and it remains yours. The expert that also testified yesterday also saw that that was a handgun. At least you and that expert agree on something else. At least you also call him expert. I like that. Because he was being questioned here about peer review, which you never did with your expert. Nine statement of a ballistic expert. You never asked for peer review. The court never asked for a peer review. The expert who came and said the things that you didn't like, you asked for peer review. The court said, what must I take this evidence for if it doesn't have a peer review signature? Why did the court not ask those nine statements about the peer review uh, signatures? Is this a fair trial? Am I being tried fairly? Mr. Malema, I'm going to put on record that you are vague and you are avoiding the questions. Uh, I agree you said we must speak to each other in a respectful way. You are not going to do that of pointing pens at me because I can do it times five. And it's not going to be nice here. Mr. Malema, the video that you see in there, I'm putting it to you, it's a handgun. I, you said I'm vague. That's fine. That's what my lawyers will argue with you about. I don't know what is vague. All I'm saying to you is that from where I'm sitting, and I'm not the first one, even the gear house people who came here said from this angle I can't see that uh, gun, whether it's a gun or what, I don't know. I can't see. And then I'm asked about the size of this gun and the gun that I presented and the one you presented, but never presented this gun. If this gun was before this court, I would gladly answer to say, okay, let me look at this one, let me look at the toy, let me look at that one. They are not the same. So I'm being made to answer the things that are not before this court. It's not here. How many firearms was brought by yourself or the EFF for this display that was going to take the place. one I showed you yesterday. Which looks exactly the same as the one you brought. That's what is before this court. You are unable to tell that the one that we see on this video is the same one which you use on the other uh, two videos. I can't. I don't see it. It, it, could, it could as well be. I can't. I'm sorry. If that is being vague, let it be. Let me fall on my sword. Yesterday, it was asked by the ballistic expert, uh, Mr. Declare, to count those number of shots that were fired from that handgun. Which one is the handgun now? This one? This one that we see in this video. Oh. It was not asked, and I don't know why the court is not intervening there, because it was not asked on this gun. It was asked on a rifle, not on this. It was specifically asked to count the number of shots you could hear whether it has been fired in this specific video. <coughs> And he you. counted about 14 to 15 shots that he heard. I don't know. The lawyers will have to intervene. I think it was a rifle. I counted with him. It was not on this. It was a rifle. What was asked from a guy uh, uh, to, to count was on a rifle. It was not on this. Mr. Malinua, um, what I recall, you asked me to adjourn. So you can look closer mm. at the video we are watching now. And this is from this video that he was found. Mm. Uh, but as you say, your lawyers may intervene. If I have got it wrong, I could tell this. Your Worship, I found that it was on this video. Did he never refer to a non he said that No, he did he not say no. Okay. Well, I don't think other states in the case of the state. <coughs> he keeps on referring to it as a non millimeter handgun. He said it appears to be a handgun, he doesn't know if it's real or not, and he counted 14 or 15 
episodes of this video. Yeah. So the only aspect that I yeah. had is that the word 9mm was not used, but handgun was used. Well, it appears to be. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yes. So, in this video, it appears to be a handgun that you're seeing there. That was the evidence of Mr. De Klepp, the expert yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was for further canvas with him how he was asked to listen to the video and hear how many shots was fired from that video. I, I, Are you still following? Yes, I'm following. I didn't hear the question. Yes. We just tried to put you into context before the question arrived. So he confirmed that that Yosef Murray really need to use the word every time appeared to be a handgun, appeared to be a handgun every time. Because, because he was not sure himself. That's why he says it appears to be. It has to be like that repeatedly so that we don't get confused that there was some concession at some point that it is what you say it is. It appears to be to him. Um, you've asked, he's actually posed the question to the court, Mr. Manning, oh. so I'll answer okay. him after hearing from counsel and from counsel. To me, I've noted, and it's common cause the evidence refers to what appears to be. The whole case is what appears to be. So do you wish that the word appears to be be repeated or can I take note that it is being said right through the trial, not only pertaining to the handgun, but even the rifle appears to be. I think it's more accurate to say what it appears to be because it hasn't been established that there's any firearms in this case by anybody. In the end, uh, another issue that I have with my own friend's question is I don't see it in any of the charges. I don't know which charge it's referring to because it was in, it always the rifle that was in the issue in count one to five and, the, and the, even the ammunition wouldn't fit into a handgun. So I don't know what charge this is, if it's even a charge. We'll hear from the state where he's leading with, leading with us. Do you have any input, Advocate Audience? Aha! Advocate Matthew? No. No? No. Advocate Caesar, please use the, the verbal words um, appear to be. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. <coughs> can I ask can I ask firstly uh, what type of what type of firearm do you own? I own a, a Taurus, 9mm. Which is a handgun. Yeah, those things of handgun and what, what I don't know about this one. <laughs> yeah, the small one. <coughs> I'm not a fanatic of those things. <coughs> that is indeed a handgun, Mr. Malema. Okay, a handgun, yes. So, if I look at the video, it also appears to be a handgun that you are firing there. I, like my, I said, my brother, I can't see what is there. You know, had you charged me with this, perhaps I would have paid a particular attention to it and prepare my defense on this thing that you are presenting before me, which court is unable to protect me from. Because I have faced no charge of this nature and therefore being made to answer on things I've never prepared on. My accusation has always been that I've discharged a rifle and a cartridge of a rifle has been found and I've prepared my defense in relation to that. Now I'm being made to answer things that were never put to me before in order for me to prepare this trial, for it to be a free and fair trial. So I don't see what is there. Mr. Malema, I'll make it clear now why this is so important in the context of the whole trial. Can you play the <coughs> where those people are standing while 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
What I would suggest, and it's a suggestion only, is that I'm counting seven people if we are spe speaking to about the one right in the corner. Yes, sir. So we can count the people in the beginning and count the people at the end. So my solution, whether you want to follow that, will be up to the state. I can't dictate what the state wants to, or how you want to present your evidence. That's correct. Okay, it's 15 minutes. Your Worship, can I speak before you adjourn? Because then, after what you said, I have to come in so that when we go to the break, we're all in the same understanding. Mr. Malema, keep in mind that it's not supposed to be in the session. Um, you are in the hands of the state. Um, I think the donors cannot protect you if you say something which you should not be placing on record, although you may feel you want to. So I can't say yes, please go ahead or no doubt. Um, through him, uh, uh, please, I want to say this. Because now we're being... Because we're, I, I don't what, know. Now we're... Yes, I know what we're yeah. under process. Yes. But I was only to prevent him from saying anything that we don't want to be said. No, no, that's wrong. Well, Your Worship, we're now splitting hairs. Can I come and point at you? Because you have counted people. Can I also come and point at you? What is my observation then? We're going to count when we adjourn and come back to giving and, and if the state wants to count. Otherwise, I'm not going to write down how many I'm counting because I'm not a witness. I'm just it's making a, a simple point that if you look at the people who say they are running away because they are scared, which is something I want to point no, no, no. to. did not say because they are scared. No, no, because I'm firing a shot, <laughs> the people are running away. He's talking about the people there by the fence, there next to the grandstand. Mm. There are people right in front of the stage. Oh no, sorry. I'm looking at the people right in front of the yes. stage, not at the grandstand. So there's no one there who's running away there. Okay, we clarified the running away with Africa's audience's objection mm. and the change to moving away. Mm. Running away has been clarified. So it's no longer an issue running away. So, also myself, obviously we're not looking at the same, you are referring to, you circled it with the arrow yes, in front of the stage. Yes, correct. Rosa Pai suggested we adjourn at this stage, we come back at, after the tea break, and then we will go through that part again. I'll decide when we come back. All right. Um, <coughs> what is the correct time? Is it going to or 10 to? 26. Huh? 26. So I'm being voted. My watch is ahead, maybe so. <coughs> um. I'll enter at to give everyone, if because you'll be looking at stuff and the water break, etc. Let us say 20 minutes then at 5 past 11. That's it. Okay. Okay. Family, let us meet in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Please like it before you leave. Subscribe for my channel if you haven't done so yet, family. Thank you, thank you, thank you.